Hi friends, this is Arujan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today, let us discuss about A, J, R, P, K, K values, right? So, what are the K values? K1, K2, K3, K4, and K5. So, what does it mean? Is K1 meant for bandwidth? That is always the A, J, R, P calculate the metric using the lowest bandwidth. That is the slowest link. So, assume there are multiple paths between R1 and R2. They say R1 to R2, R2 to R3. Even there are multiple paths. Always, it will calculate the lowest link in the root path measured in the kilobits. So always it will go for the least bandwidth and K2 is a load. A load is nothing but a total activity on an interface. That is cumulative load it will calculate cumulative or the worst load of all the outgoing interfaces. That is K2 and K3 is a delay. So delay is the time taken from, from one resource to the destination. That is a delay, right? So it will always take the cumulative delay of all the outgoing interfaces and reliability is the average reliability. MTU is nothing but the smallest MTU. That is we call it as a K5. So always by default K1 and K3 is always on. So K by default the AJP calculate the composite metric that using bandwidth and delay, right? Bandwidth plus delay. So always K1 and K3 will be on. So if the K1 is 1 and K3 is 1, that means K1 and K1 is meant for bandwidth and K3 is meant for delay. So if both bandwidth and delay are on, that means the calculation will be 10 power 7 by bandwidth plus delay into 256. That is the calculation. EAJRP will calculate the metric using this calculation, right? 10 power 7 by bandwidth plus delay into 256. So this is the metric EAJRP uses if the K1 and K3 parameter is on. That means K1 is bandwidth and K3 is delay. So this is the default value. So by default, bandwidth and delay will be on. So always EAJRP calculate with using bandwidth and delay. So if you want to specify all this, if you want to make it all this parameter on, then this is a formula. K1 into bandwidth into 256 plus K2 into bandwidth by 256 minus load plus K3 into delay. So this is the calculation if all the parameters are on. That means bandwidth, load, delay, reliability and MTU. So now let us go ahead and configure the K value. Also keep it in mind if there is a mismatch in the K value, R1 will not establish a neighbor relationship with R2. So now let us go to configuration. So how to check is show interfaces. You can check the specific interface. Right? You can Specify the reliability. Reliability 255, 255 is good always. It's a good reliability. And M2 is always the smallest MTU. This is the default MTU. That is 1500 bytes. And this is the bandwidth, default bandwidth. And delay, I already told, is the cumulative delay. That is 1000 second, right? So this is a load. This is a transmit and the receive load on an interface. So now let us how to check the K value. Default K value show IP protocols. So this will show the default K value. Already told about this one. So K1 is 1 and K3 is 1. That means by default the AJRP calculate using the metric bandwidth and delay. So bandwidth and delay is on. If you want to make K2 and K4 also we can make it on by K, specifying K2 equal to 1. right? So now let us go ahead and configure that K values. So let us go to the configuration mode. So router. So router AJRP 100. So how to configure the K values, metric, weights, followed by the type of services, 0, let us make it as 0, followed by the K1, K1 is for bandwidth, right? So let us make it on, it is default on only. So then let us make the load is also on, K2 is load, then it comes a delay, delay is also will make it on, followed by the reliability and MTU, that is K4 and K5, right? So make it, let us make this 0. And let us make it as 0. That is reliability. So this is how you can calculate it. Similar way you have to configure in R2. So in case if you are not configuring in R2, it will show the K value mismatch. You are able to see, right? Because show IP protocols, you are able to see K1 equal to 1, K2 equal to 1, K3 equal to 1, K4 and K5 value, you are set it to 0. But in R2, there is a mismatch in K values, right? Show protocols. So there is a mismatch K1 is equal to 1, K2 is equal to 0. So we have to make it this as well on, right? So how to do that? Go to the configuration mode. Router EGRP 100. So that is the reason you are receiving the goodbye message, right? Is you are able to see. Neighbor is down and your interface goodbye is received. That means there is a K value mismatch. So how to rectify that problem? Again, go to configuration mode and specify the metric value. Metric weights followed by 0 is the type of service. Bandwidth load delay then comes the reliability then mtu so after configuring this automatically you will see the neighbor relation is coming up so that means both the metric value remain same so that is the main criteria you have to keep it in mind 
first thing you have to understand about this metric the always the lowest bandwidth and the cumulative delay is calculated and load is always the cumulative load or the worst load of all the outgoing interfaces and k for min for reliability to always calculate in fraction 255 by 255 and m2 is always the smallest mtu so by default k1 equal to 1 and k3 equal to 1 that means only it will calculate using the bandwidth and delay so in case if you want to add other parameters like reliability load and mtu you can use this formula right so also you have to change the parameter value in metric weights so this is how the E G R P K values are calculated. So now let us check the neighbor relationship. Show I P E G R P neighbor. So now you are able to see, right? It already established because the, there is no K, K value mismatch, and we have configured the proper K values on R1 and R2. So how to check the K values by using Show I P protocols command? I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.